See him down there? Right next to the butterfly. Oh, that butterfly is so pretty. He's just going to hang in there for dear life. I know you can't see it very well, but that's a dragonfly, right? Where's my hand? There, right there. It's so pretty here. He's not going anywhere right now. Anyway, they're everywhere though. Y'all, this is my view. I'm sitting outside and I'm gonna turn around and show you right now. But see, that's my legs. This is my new camp. And I just spent the better half of my morning and afternoon picking up glass and trash and bottle caps and, you know, other people's garbage off this beautiful, beautiful campsite. So I'm going to tell you something. I didn't do that because it's my job or because it's mine. Oh yeah, there's flying grasshoppers everywhere too, big ones. But I did that because it's our duty as human beings to help take care of this earth. Not just to pick up after, after ourselves, but if we see stuff like that, pick up after other people. Not because it's your job, but because you're a human being on this earth. You see that bag? That's all this stuff I just picked up. There's like netting and all kinds of stuff. See that? Oh, there's dragonflies everywhere. See it? See them? They're so cool. There are a lot of bees though, which is kind of sucky. The bees have been really annoying. I've never seen bigger bees in my life and they seem to love my RV for some reason. But I'm gonna give you like a view from back here. Look at this, this is my view. This is my view, y'all. This is my front lawn. The entrance is right there. Somebody putting a boat in the water. I got this little step case thing here. There's butterflies everywhere too. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the, oh. So pretty, you guys. Y'all, this is gorgeous. There's these little blue dragonflies all over too, all down there. But that is my access to the water. See all the blue dragonflies? They're like all over down there. Get a little closer here. I can see them. See them on that, on those leaves? Those little blue things sticking out? Those are dragonflies. They're just, they're everywhere down here. And butterflies galore. Oh, the butterflies, they're everywhere. They're so pretty. See one just landed? It's a yellow one. See it right there? Right there. Oh, focus. See? Oh, it's so pretty. And then from right here where I'm standing on top of the water, and it's so clear, y'all, you can see all the way how it drops off and stuff. But yeah, this is the lake that I'm at in West Texas. As I said, I'll disclose this location another time. But this is what I woke up to this morning out my window. Isn't this gorgeous? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there's not a lot of places to put my hammock. There's really not. So I can't put my hammock up. But the beauty of this place is remarkable. And there's my camp. I I hesitate to take a lot of stuff out as far as my rug and everything goes. Because somebody did come by and tell me that there were a lot of hogs or whatever. But there was glass all over this area. But yeah, I guess there's wild hogs around this area that will like attack you I can see there's still a lot of glass like I don't know if you can see it on camera or not 
but there's still a lot of glass right there that I haven't gotten to. I'm just taking a little break first. Oh, there goes somebody else. This is such a beautiful area, y'all. This is way better. This is closer to the entrance. I didn't think I was allowed to camp here, so that's why I skipped it. But I am, which I found out last night from the nice ranger. I still have no service. I mean, I have a little bit of service, but not a lot. So, I'll probably end up picking glass up tomorrow and the day after that, too. I got my solar set up here. I've got the moon flowers out so that they can dry out. I've got my Lucy light, like usual. And it's kind of perfect because my rope lighting inside is also getting juice on their panel. So, yeah. And then, as I did in the last campsite around there, I put my battery maintainer out here and tried to anchor it as best we could. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this beautiful campsite. There's something over here. I love this windmill. It's so pretty. Now, I don't know if that's an abandoned property or not. I do plan on taking a little walk later because somebody said over or no it was the ranger he said over there oh, let me get over there and where the smokestack is that there was another camper like mine in there and then the guy that was fishing here last night said there was a nice spot over there too so I don't know if you can see that stack see that smokestack so I figured I would take a walk over there later and see what it's like and I've also got to take a walk so I can get better service so I can upload a video because I've been trying to upload for about four hours now and it's just not working. So yeah, I'm fixing to finish my coffee because I've been picking up garbage that lasts so long. I totally forgot about it, so now it's cold, but oh well. Yeah, I just wanted to show you what I woke up to this morning. See you guys later. So pretty, they love this flower too. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. The bees like those flowers too. Maybe that's why there's so many bees. I'm trying to be careful because there's rats too. Wow. No wonder there's so many bees. Look at all the bees in this thing. I don't know if you can see them like I can, but there are some big ones too. Big, big bees. But I'm so obsessed with the butterflies. Wow, it's funny how the bees and the butterflies don't bother each other.
See that black bee? And there's these really super, super yellow bees. Like, like that one right there. You see them down there? Right next to the butterfly. Oh, that butterfly is so pretty. He's just gonna hang in there for dear life. got enough pictures and video for now just because it takes so long yeah see you can see them all shining all the pieces that I missed I don't know how I missed them either I'll have to go around again and I might need a new bag though but yeah by the time I'm done there's my mini classes
So not cool, people. Look at this. I hope I'm getting this. Look. So not cool. Yep, right in the, right in the show. Right at the base of the water. So, yeah, it's going in my bag like everything else. All the garbage and glass that I picked up. Hey, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the water. See you later. So this is the place I came in. This is the entrance. That's the lake. And I think this is a dam over here. But it's like a straight drop off. There's no railing or nothing. I think this is a dam. I think maybe when the water gets too high, they let it go. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But it doesn't look like it's been used in a while. And then over here, you have the lake. Isn't that gorgeous? And you'll be able to see my camper too. See, there I am. That's where I'm camped. I am gonna go and check out this other place that the ranger told me that somebody, wow, the water is awful high. <laughs> Makes me a little nervous, but hopefully they'll let it go if it goes over the road. Oh yeah, there's my camp. You can see my beach right there. My own personal private beach. If I can get her to focus. But yeah, my beach is right there that I just showed you. So yeah, I'm gonna go up here where the smokestack is and check it out. See if it's any good, check the service. I just wanted to show y'all this beautiful sight. So pretty. All right, see you soon. Four, right there, across this beautiful lake. Look at this. I can't even see my RV anymore. And then over here is just like a drop off. There's like a crevice down there, but there's like a little recreation area or something over here. I don't know, but that's where I'm headed. I think that's how I get to it. I'll figure it out. 